what's up guys and welcome back to my channel if you guys are new make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe right now and if you guys have already been a subscriber welcome back so today 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 your girl is going to give you guys a mini vlog now right now i am currently sitting in my car i'm at the stoplight and it looks like the light's green but ain't nobody going um and i needed to start this intro because i'm on my way to a place that i never thought i'd be going to honestly i'm scared i'm nervous i don't know if the place i'm going to is going to make me look okay i don't know if it's gonna make me look all right um so i might as well just go ahead and tell you guys because it's probably already in the title it's probably already in the thumbnail i'm on my way to get microblading done now i've never got this done before i've seen a lot of people get it done and it made their brows look really really nice it made them look full it made them look good and i don't know how i'm going to look so these are what my brows look like now now they're not bad they're just like not as full as i want them to be like when i was younger i had really thick brows and now i don't know what happened ever since i got older and i started waxing and threading my eyebrows just kind of disappeared on me you know what i'm saying so i'm on my way there right now excuse my lashes i get them done tomorrow so your girl will be looking better because right now i am kind of looking hurt it is currently 8 39 in the morning and my appointment is for nine o'clock and then the process is going to take about two and a half hours it said on the website and the price of the microblading that i'm going to it costs 350 dollars now i'm not telling you guys that to brag in your face or do any of that i'm telling you guys simply if you guys would like to get your you know, eye eyebrows done, then you guys are more than welcome to do so. So yeah, I'm on my way there right now. I don't know if I'll be recording the process of it because I don't know how the lady is about cameras and I don't know any of that stuff, but I'm gonna try to get as much footage as possible. As soon as I'm done with the microblading, I'm gonna let you guys know, you know, the pain level, it was worth it and you know, all that good stuff. So I'll see you guys when I get there. All right, you guys, so I just pulled up to the microblading shop and I'm sitting here. I got about six more minutes until I have to go in and I'm getting more nervous as the time comes. I am not very good with pain and I've heard, I've read reviews and I've seen that microblading hurts. It feels like a tattoo on your face and I'm scared. I don't know. I Honestly, I have no idea what's going on. I don't know if they numb you. I don't know if it's temporary or if it's permanent. What if I don't like it? Can I go back or do I have to be stuck with some ugly? eyebrows like I don't know I have a lot of questions and when I go inside I'm gonna be asking her all these questions because I just want to be able to make sure like listen I need to know because if it's not what I thought it's gonna be then I'm just gonna leave and I'm not gonna get it done because I don't want to ruin my face for something that I don't like you know what I'm saying like my eyebrows are fine they're not bad I just really wanted to get them fuller because when I do my makeup I honestly hate doing my eyebrows they never come out even they never come out right like I just want them to be done and that's it you know what I'm saying so I'm sitting outside and I'm getting so scared. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, breathe, Bianca. I actually have a banana. I need to eat it really quick because once I go in here, I don't know if my eyes are gonna be closed or not, but it's gonna be like a two and a half hour process. And that's a long process. And I didn't eat anything this morning. Sorry guys, I'm vlogging on my iPhone. So if it looks kind of weird, that's why. I need somewhere to sit this down at because, okay, I'll just sit it here and I'll just, um, yeah, I'm vlogging on my iPhone because I honestly forgot that I was coming here this morning and when I rushed out the door I forgot to bring my camera so it's whatever you guys just got to deal with the iPhone footage for now okay mm. so hold on y'all it's good mm. I'm sitting inside my new car you guys didn't know I did get a new car I posted a picture on Instagram and I also posted kind of like a little small video on the Prince Family channel. But if you guys want a full car detailed tour of my brand new car, make sure you guys go ahead and comment down below. And I'll be sure to give that for you guys. I don't even know what time it is. Oh, 8.57. I think it's time to go in, y'all. I am thinking it's time to go in. I'm scared. It's raining outside, too. I don't even know what the banana It's not that good today. I think it's just because I'm really scared. So let's go ahead and go inside. So I'm only going to put one. Just, um... So then this, this one doesn't wear out, okay? Okay, so the tape, what does it do? Just secure um, the nummy? Uh, no, it actually provokes like moist and okay. heat. Okay. And the numbing cream activates with heat and moist. Oh, so. oh wow. Okay, here we go. <laughs>
All right, you guys, so right now we are waiting for the numbing cream to start working. It has to stand here for about 20 minutes. It's already been on for 10 minutes, and I'm getting more and more nervous, you guys. Honestly, they looked good when she drew, like, you know, the outline on. So hopefully everything else turns out how it's supposed to turn out. Um, she told me a lot of stuff that I need to tell you guys, but I'm going to tell you guys when we get back in the car because right now there's copyrighted music playing in the background, and I ain't trying to get copyrighted. feel it but it doesn't feel painful <laughs> feel i feel something, something. Yeah. yeah i just feel like little pricks or something mm -hmm. okay it's pretty numb okay not bad <laughs> <How's that? laughs> it's not bad you can probably hear it more too than you can feel it yeah most definitely all right i'm good i'm good i can do this i can do it how long i gotta sit here for 20 minutes 20 minutes. okay i can do it okay <laughs> okay ready <laughs> Wow, you did really good. Thank you. Yes, you're super natural. You like the shape? Yes, the shape is perfect. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm finally done with the microblading on my eyebrows. And as you guys can tell by my smile, your girl is liking it. I really, really like the finished product. Now, right now, my eyebrows are kind of a little bit swollen. Um, just because it's kind of like a tattoo going on your on your face, you know what I'm saying? So it's a little bit swollen. The pain level, like she added numbing cream, so the pain level was honestly maybe like a three. It wasn't bad at all. It was just like a couple areas that hurt a little bit. So the pain was like a three, if not maybe even like a one. Um, she did say that my eyebrows are gonna get really, really dark because of the ointment she put on top of it. It's gonna get really, really dark, really, really bulky. Um, they're gonna start flaking. And she said for like the first between like the first seven to 10 days, they're gonna be looking like ratchet, okay? They're gonna be looking ugly. So I was going to um, end the video off today, but I'm going to show you guys what it looks looks like as the days go on show you guys the process therefore if you guys are looking to get microblading done you guys know what you know the process is so right now this is day one i have to go back in for a retouch session so if it doesn't look exactly you know even or exactly the same if it's not the same coloring i'm gonna go back in a month for a retouch she couldn't do everything today because we have to see what's gonna fall off and what's going to stay um so yeah we're just gonna you know it looks cute i like it and now i don't have to draw my eyebrows on like they look very very natural make sure you guys go ahead and comment down below what do you guys think of how they look um nobody has seen my eyebrows yet and ah! i might um i don't know i really like it make sure you guys go ahead and let me know so like i said i'm just gonna give you guys updates um as the days go on and we're gonna see what the finished finished product looks like at the end of this video so yeah i mean thumbs up for me i like it <laughs> hey guys so it is day two of my microblading experience and i just wanted to come on here real quick to give you guys a update so my eyebrows have gotten darker she said that that was gonna happen she said that the gel that she put on um it was gonna cause my eyebrows to get darker and get more like bulkier but this isn't the final look so yeah this is like a update on my brows now they do kind of hurt i wasn't expecting them to hurt like when i do that like when i lift my eyebrows or like when i like scrunch like this it kind of like it, they're like stiff if that's what you're gonna say they're like really stiff so it does hurt i woke up in the middle of the night last night and um, i woke up to feed ayla and when i like scrunched my eyebrows i was like whoa hold up real quick like it was a little bit of pain the pain on level is probably like um like when i scrunch it's about like a five or a six 
um but when i'm just sitting here normally you can't feel a thing it doesn't hurt um i hadn't been able to touch my brows yet i hadn't been able to get my brows wet yet she says between 24 to 48 hours and it has been 24 hours since i got my microblading done um but i don't want to touch them yet she said for best results don't touch them until 72 hours so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna listen to her um so yeah that was just a quick update i'm gonna give you guys the update every day until my brows look good and how they're supposed to look what's up guys so now it is day three of me having my eyebrows microbladed and i just wanted to come on here and give you guys a quick update later on today i will be you know washing my eyebrows and starting the actual healing process when they start flaking and all that stuff so the next you know couple of days my eyebrows are probably going to be looking rough but like i said i am going to be recording every single day therefore you guys can see the whole entire process until my eyebrows look completely healed now today i woke up up and my eyebrows were fine but just starting a little bit ago my eyebrows are really really itchy it, especially my right one it's just like i just want to like start itching it i can touch it and it's like really really hard and it feels like i don't know it feels nasty i ain't gonna lie to you guys but they're just like really really itchy um that's the only thing like that's different today my eyebrows are still dark as you guys can see i'm starting to like them they are a little bit too dark for my liking but once you know it starts to fall off they will be it, it, it'll look better okay it will look lighter so yeah with that being said you guys i am going to be washing it off today and I'm gonna actually bring you guys along with me and show you guys how it looks while me washing it off because honestly I don't know what to expect and I want you guys to be able to see everything that I see and so yeah so day three we're good it doesn't it doesn't hurt when I scrunch anymore it doesn't hurt it's just really really itchy hey guys so it is still day three of my experience with microblading and I told you guys earlier in the video that I was going to have you guys come with me therefore I can wash it off now um I said this already but the lady told me 24 to 72 hours i need to keep the gel on top of my brows and then after that i need to wash it off i actually texted her i think this morning and was like hey what do i wash my brows off with and she told me just water she said use your fingertips and just kind of you know be gentle with it you know what i'm saying so that's what we're going to do i need to get a washcloth real quick so hold on all right guys, so I got my washcloth. I'm gonna turn my water on. Um, I'm super nervous because I don't know what they're gonna look like and I'm scared. <laughs> okay, got my water on. You guys ready? I'm scared. She said just like, it didn't come off. She said be gentle. I don't see anything. <laughs> okay. I think I'm doing all right. Yeah, okay, so I don't think you're gonna be able to tell. There's kind of like a little hole right there. You guys see that? It's already starting to flake off and peel. That's what it's gonna look like. My eyebrows are gonna be looking like messed up. Okay, so you guys see this right here? You guys see that? That is part of the uh, the microblading. So now I'm going to the other side. Let's see. Oh, I can feel a difference. This one is super hard, and this one is like soft now. All right, so I think I'm pretty much finished. Oh, you guys can kind of see this one. You guys see right here? It's starting to like flake off and come off a little bit. So I'm gonna do one more. All right, so you guys can see like the little like coloring inside of under my nails. Oh, and you guys can see it here too. You guys see the coloring? Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna like I think dab it. All right, this is what it looks like after I got done drying it. This is part of the microblading shadowing. And up close, these are what my eyebrows look like. So right here, like I said, you guys can see that it's already starting to peel. Um, and then this one looks pretty good. It's just starting to peel a little bit right here. And she told me to do this every day until they all are like actually like falling off. So yeah, that's the update on day three. What's up guys, it is day four of my microblading experience and here I am with another update like I promised. Today wasn't honestly that bad. Um, it is very, very itchy. I did wash them this morning with just my water and some fingertips. And then let's go up close uh, right here. I don't know if you guys, let me take these glasses off. 
right here if you guys can see it is starting to peel down here i noticed that the line is no longer straight over here if you guys can get up close and personal you can see like certain parts missing um from right here and you can just see that it's getting like more flakier more lighter and it's starting to look a little bit different um from a distance it still looks good so nothing major today just you know, losing a little bit of the color as well as very, very itchy. I didn't realize how itchy it would be. Um, I constantly am trying to like, not itch it, but I kind of kind of like tap on it like this because it just itches really, really bad. So yeah, that's about it. Hey guys, so I just want to come on here and give you guys another update. It is day five of my microblading experience. Um, and this is what my eyebrows are looking like. As you guys can see right here, I have lost a lot of the dark coloring um, over here. Here, I have lost a lot of the dark coloring and then over here it's getting like really really I don't want to say like like choppy like it's like light right here dark right here light dark you know if you guys you know get it so um it's very very itchy I've been like doing this all day trying to rub it because it is really itchy I feel like me putting the water on it to take the gel off is what's causing it to itch more um and then there's Nova say hi Nova <laughs> um so yeah that's just an update um for today nothing major i'm waiting for the like the part where it becomes like really really flaky and my eyebrows look like really messed up i'm waiting for that part so you know i can show you guys but it hasn't come yet uh, there's no more pain just itchiness and a little bit of peeling and that's it hey guys so it is now day six of my microblading experience here obviously with another update nothing honestly happened today i feel like a lot has fallen off of my brow so right here as you guys can see it's really really light compared to like right here um on this side it's just starting to fall off too my eyebrows say hey ayla <laughs> my eyebrows have not gotten really really flaky like everybody else excuse me my eyebrows have not gotten really flaky like everybody else has said um, mine look pretty decent my eyebrows just look like they're getting lighter as the day goes on um, or as the days go on and I think that's really good they don't really itch today and when they do itch I just kind of like rub them like this every day in the morning time I am still uh, washing them with water and I think that's helping a lot with the flakiness so yeah this is update day number six it's day number seven of my microblading experience and this one's gonna be a really really quick update because honestly nothing has changed um since the last couple of days there is no more like you know flakiness whatever my eyebrows feel very soft they're not like hard anymore like it doesn't feel like there's any extra product on top of my eyebrows um, so yeah, nothing has changed. I feel like that there's not going to be any flakiness because I feel like if there was flakiness, it already would have happened. We're not going to judge anything yet because I don't know. I've never got this done before, so I don't know what could happen. But on day number seven, nothing has changed. What's up, guys? It is day eight of my microblading experience. I'm back once again with another update for you guys. So this is probably going to honestly be the last update that I give you guys on this video because nothing has changed. I text the, the microblading person and I was like, like, hey, um, are my eyebrows supposed to be flaking? Are they supposed to be looking like a certain way? And she told me to send her picture, so I did. And she was like, oh, it looks like the first layer um, of the stuff that she did has already shed it off. She was like, if it didn't flake already, it's probably not gonna flake. And then she told me that in about 20 to 25 days, you're gonna see like the true color of the ink that she put on my brows. So. With that being said, I did not get any of the flakiness as you guys can see in my brows. Um, it's just super light right here. And then on this side, they have lighter spots. Um, I didn't get that part of the microblading. So I think everybody is different. Everybody has different skin types and everybody's process is gonna be different. This is just my process. And I'm kinda, I'm not really disappointed that it didn't flake, but I wanted to really give you guys like some crazy footage. I wanted it to be like, you know, dramatic, but it didn't. So with that being said, yeah, this is how mine's went. It's day eight and I'm feeling on it and I feel nothing left on it. Uh, whenever my true coloring does come in, I will record another update for you guys therefore you guys can see what the true color actually looks like and also she said that the lighter spots on my brows whatever is lighter i have to go back in a month and i have to get a retouch up and on the lighter spots that's the parts that she's gonna fill in so i'll probably record that as well if you guys want to see that with that being said i honestly feel like the microblading has been a very 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 good experience for me my brows look much fuller they look super natural like i don't think they look bad um like i said this isn't the color that they're going to stay 
they will get lighter but she said she matched it to be my natural brow color so that's a good thing um yeah my experience was good there's only minimal pain the first day they kind of like hurt when you shrug and stuff like that other than that the only thing i can really complain about is that they were super duper itchy like they still itch right now um i like have to keep rubbing them like this and all that stuff but yeah with that being said this is the end of the video it's super freaking hot out here in texas it's like 106 degrees oh my gosh i'm melting um yeah with that being said this is the end of the video if you guys enjoyed it make sure you guys give it a fat thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also turn your notifications on therefore you guys do not miss an upload when i post next but until next time i will see you guys later i'm out bye